Several business owners and former prisoners from all across Colorado are now asking the Department of Corrections to reinstate a job training program for low-risk inmates. Denver 7's Micah Smith is going deeper on why the Take Two program went away and the push now to get it back. Each item packaged at this Denver manufacturing warehouse. It was new work for me. Represents another chance at life for those who work here. I've always done um, office um, administrative work, and so it was more so hands-on work. Leandra Bumpus started her job at Mile High Workshop while still incarcerated at the Denver Women's Correctional Facility. Under the Take Two program. Take Two allowed low-risk inmates across the state to work for private companies helping them transition back into society and earn a living. I was able to partake in things that my children needed and um, be able to provide for them on the outside. But on July 16th, a Take Two participant escaped near Durango. The DOC paused the program. It took away everything. It was a, a pretty decent chunk of our workforce that kind of overnight was no longer allowed to come to the work. Andy Magel, the executive director of Mile High Workshop, says several businesses in rural areas were forced to close. But the loss of Take Two was more than a financial blow. Everybody who's in the Take Two program is going to be released. And so we as a community can choose if we just want to let them walk out the door or if we want to prepare them and build a ramp for them. Magel says he hopes the DOC reconsiders. It was really disappointing. It felt like a bit of an overreaction to me. In a statement, the DOC said it remains committed to helping inmates reenter society with the skills necessary to succeed. The DOC says it is evaluating its options for programs like this one. I've been out for three weeks now. Bumpus says Take Two gave her hope and tangible skills. I'm a part of an organization inside. It's called the Women of Influence Program. It's a group of mentors who are equipping and encouraging and empowering each other. Empowerment and skills so many inmates can benefit from as they prepare to re-enter society. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.